our friend Cleta Mitchell. Uh, Cleta is a partner of the D.C. law firm of Foley and Lardner, and she has been uh, among a group of lawyers here that's been following uh, ACORN for some time. Cleta, thank you for being with us today. Well, it's so nice to be with you. Um, this uh, this latest, you know, we laugh about it. It's so ludicrous. But this latest business with uh, with Acorn, where office after office seems to be countenancing and assisting in the uh, opening up of, uh, you know, facilities for underage prostitutes and, you know, how to qualify for uh, loans and uh, lie to the government in order to get government funding and so forth. Th- th- this is This is not new stuff for Acorn, is it? No, it's not new, and it's really disturbing because they're doing it with our money. ACORN has gotten over $54 million in federal funds over the last 10 years, and this is an organization that has over 350 affiliated entities. They have interlocking directorates. They've got, you know, they may have one officer that serves as an officer over 30 of their organizations, and they've moved money back and forth. And it's really, you're, you're a former prosecutor. It's probably bordering on a criminal enterprise, and we're funding it. And uh, RICO. RICO. I, I have actually, we've discussed that. Um, of course, having the resources to bring that kind of discovery-intensive lawsuit. But I will tell you, um, the federal government, the Office of In- the Inspector General of HUD, which is the source of most of their federal money, needs to immediately undertake a thorough forensic investigation and accounting of how ACORN is using our federal tax dollars. We need to suspend money to ACORN. It is a group of criminal activists. Well, let's, let's focus just a minute on that criminal activity. Do you have anything to, to add to, uh, to what I just said about these latest instances where uh, these people went in? It looks like now that uh, the mainstream media is focusing on the people who went in with the undercover cameras and accusing them of violations of the criminal law instead of instead of focusing focusing on these people who have gotten 54 million dollars of government money. Well, exactly. And you know, going after these two young kids who essentially said, you know, well, if somebody else isn't going to investigate these people and try to do something about them, you know, we're going to take it up. We're going to do something about it and um, prove that, you know, what kind of people are running these offices. Now, remember, what these ACORN employees were advising these undercover filmmaker, uh, volunteer, and his friend, these are two conservative activists, and what they were doing, they went into the ACORN office and said, we want, a, we want your help getting federal housing assistance to buy a house that we're going to use as a brothel, and we're going to be bringing in illegal, underage Salvadorian girls to serve as prostitutes. And these ACORN employees did not bat an eye. They started helping them fill out the paperwork to do exactly what these young people were saying they wanted to do. Now, what does that tell us? Three different offices. Well, yes, the third, third office released today. I am told there may be more. And, of course, the head of ACORN is trying to deflect attention and saying, again, these are isolated instances. They said that even though that's what they've always said about the voter registration. And, of course, a lot of their criminal activities had to do with voter registration, hasn't it? Well, that's right. And there have been uh, criminal charges brought in state after state after state regarding uh, ACORN's fraudulent voter registration activities. Well, first things first, things first uh, there's so much we can say about this. Where are they getting their government money? You mentioned HUD. Uh, it's not, primarily HUD. Do you, do you really think that they're going to be taken out of this census process? These are the people. These are the people who this administration was going to have uh, to, to, to go out and, uh, and, uh, and uh, work the census for us. Correct. And now, as, as of late Friday, the census director announced that it was severing the relationship with ACORN as a national partner in the census. But, of course, that doesn't – I think your point, your question that you, you infer is well taken, which is, will that mean that they'll really be out of it? You remember, yeah, we'll see. They, they, they have 361 affiliates you. that we know of. I got you. I got, thank you, Cleta, for staying on top of this. We'll talk to you later about that. Thompson Show.